First things first, I'm going to get use the reverse rule, uh, if you like, if x to the a times x to the b is x to the a plus b, I can actually go the other way. So I'm going to have 6 to the 2n, 6 to the 1. So I've actually taken it adding here and switch it this way. So that's a time sign. I'll do the same at the bottom. 4 to the n times 4 squared times 3 to the 2n times 3 to the negative 1. So that's my first step going to move that up so I can work on my next step. So now I'm going to do what I can. So I've got 6 to the 2n times 6. I'm just sort of simplifying what I've got. Uh, 4 to the n times 4 fours is 16 times 3 to the 2n. Uh, 3 to the negative 1 I'm actually going to put as times 3 at the top because sometimes you can think of this as saying go to the other side and be positive. Now, next step. Now what I'm going to do is spot the 2n here and the 2n here. So if I had 6 to the power of 2n over 3 to the power of 2n, I've actually got 6 over 3 to the power of 2n, and 6 divided by 3 is 2, so I've actually got 2 to the power of 2n, which is pretty awesome. So I'm going to go 2 to the power of 2n there, and then I'm just going to leave 6 threes at 18. And then here, I'm going to write 4 is 2 squared to the power of n and that of course is 2 to the power of 2n. So this one here has become that. And then, okay, these two disappeared and became that. So all I'm worried about now is 16 times 3. Okay, that cancels. So that's very cool. Oh, sorry, what am I doing? That's disappeared. I've only got times 16, so for 18 over 16. So I can half both of those. 9 and 9 is 18, and 8 and 8 is 16. So I've finished. That's a beautiful problem. I love it.